Alrighty, good morning guys. Day four and man do I feel way freaking better than the last couple two days. So much so that I am just, I'm up earlier. I didn't go to the gym because I don't want to like push it too hard, but oh, it feels so good to feel so much better. I actually get to go uh, breakfast with my wife. I haven't had breakfast with her for the last two mornings. So that will feel amazing. The one crappy thing is the weather right now. It does come and go. The rain does happen quite a lot here. During the night, it just absolutely pours, but that's what happens when you're out and about in the middle of the Indian Ocean. But uh, the weather will get good. I'm gonna go meet her for breakfast. See you guys there. It's a monsoon outside right now. Megan's doing her swim. You saw that little tiny bobbing head right there. Not really too sure what we're gonna do today, only because it's not the nicest weather out there but we're gonna go get breakfast, that's for damn sure, because I'm so hungry, but I'm so happy that I am hungry, because I haven't been for the last few days. Uh, so yeah. Just went for a swim and a storm, and the water was actually really, really warm. The stormier it is outside, the warmer the water is. Very refreshing. It's time for breakfast. This is day four in the Maldives. We are, I have done a workout, I have done my swim, and I have worked up an appetite. Oh, so breakfast is over, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. No, no, it's a good thing. Uh, Meg's just looking up, I think, the menu for the Gouda Gouda shack that we're going to tonight. It's Maldivian style food. Well, come on, say something nice. <laughs> I'm tired, I'm in a coma right now. Oh, we're going to Gouda Gouda tonight. It's a Maldivian style restaurant. Uh, lots of spices, lots of fish, because that's what they eat living on the sea. So we're gonna enjoy that a lot. Right now we're sort of just chilling in the little lounge area, as you can see. Nice little lounge area, and uh, just gonna chill on our phones. I'm gonna read some newspaper, catch up on some stuff, and then uh, the weather's getting a little better, and then we'll go from there. So we just finished lunch, and we had rice and some vegan curry, and we're going full vegan. Like I said before, it's just safer. It makes me feel better. And then we're about to go walk around the island. It only takes about 20 minutes to do a full walk around. We're gonna go walk around, enjoy the island. We did snorkeling. I think we went like, according to the iWatch, it says I burned half the calories that Megan did, yet I have a bigger body than her, so technically, I should burn more calories. He didn't work as hard. That's, he didn't work as hard as me. That's the reason why. I think we did like 820 meters or whatever that we did. No, 0.18 meters. It was hard. There were waves. It was an ocean water storm. It was hard. 0.18 kilometers, so 200 meters. Yeah, it was hard regardless. There was wind, there was waves. And then, uh, yeah, just finished lunch. And then, like I said, we're just gonna go walk around. This is where we're staying at the Standard Resort. Something about this place, like when you walk forwards and you see things like this, beautiful. Listen. It's tiny, it's not even a mile long. Well, not the actual island, but I just mean the view. You just look and forever and ever, and there's zero interruption at all. It just goes and goes. It's like being in a postcard. Okay, so. Ah, just back at our place now. As you can see, the sun is bright in my eyes, but this is the view that we always get when we walk back from places. It's pretty spectacular. Sun might blare out this, but uh, there's the bar over there, but this walkway goes the whole way down, all the way down to that far building that you can see way down there. And we walk along that pathway there and then uh, these are the bikes like I said that we consistently ride everywhere it's how you travel and then I come in here this is our place there's Meg ah beautiful and then it never gets old when we come here you open this door oh but it's locked you open this door let's do that round two and you just come out here and the view just comes right back 
and it never, ever, ever gets old. Just having the opportunity to see all of this consistently is why it's called the best place in the world to live. We are just on our way to Guda Guda restaurant and private limousine service. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a good evening. All right, guys, so we are now at Gouda Gouda for our Maldivian style dinner tonight. Can't wait to try some delicious food. So here we go. How are you? How's he feeling? Good. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm feeling much better, much better. Thank you for asking. Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you very much. So one of the things here is you sit down when you have dinner at a Maldivian style food. Uh, tonight on the menu you can catch live fish or you can just get something off of the menu yourself. But the big part is enjoying this type of experience uh, with your loved ones. So they start you off with a nice passion fruit orange juice drink to have. So we're going to cheers to it. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Wow, that's really good. Is that good? Yeah, very fresh. So our food has shown up and it looks really, really good. We've got, okay, I'll tell you what this is. This here is a passion fruit curry. Speak a little. This here is a vegetable crepe. This is obviously some sort of pita bread. This is a pumpkin salad here. This is a different type of salad. Can't remember what it's called. And then again, another pumpkin salad there. And that's the passion fruit curry. And we have two more steamed rice coming. Uh, and, <laughs> so there's quite a quite a bit of food, but Lots that's okay. <laughs> and we're also gonna get dessert. Yeah, lots of dessert. We're just eating machines, but we are excited to enjoy. So what else has shown up just now as well? Two steamed rices, and I'm putting my hair up so I can really get down to business. She's getting down to business, ladies and gentlemen. So that means we're gonna put the camera down and we're gonna enjoy the food. Okay, so we're all done dinner and I'm very full. So full that I'm lying down on the pillows, but as you can see, they allow that other people lying down as well. Uh, this restaurant is full. You have to make reservations when you come here, but highly recommended. All the food we got tonight was vegan, uh, and they outdid themselves. I was so impressed, and it tasted so flippin' good. Now I'm going to see if I can get some coconut ice cream, see if it's vegan, and because uh, I do have a, a separate stomach for dessert. All right. Hold it, because it's more. Okay, so we have just finished our Maldivian style dinner at Gouda Gouda and so many different flavors. We had a full vegan meal, so we both feel great. We're happy. Our tummies are full. I had some coconut ice cream, which was yeah. also really good. Tons of flavor. Like, I can't say anything negative about this place. It was so, so yummy. Yeah, and it was all vegan, like I had said earlier. So it, our tummies are happy, and a happy tummy is a happy shot. <laughs> That's right. The next morning. Okay, guys, day five, I think this is. Day five, we are it's on. Day five. We're just heading off to the gym. It's my first day back working out at the gym. 8 a.m. Yep. Yeah, after almost three or four days off. Mm. Okay, back in the gym. Here we are. Nice and quiet. No music bumping, but we'll get some going soon. Nice what? chest day today. Chest day. I'm gonna do about 10 exercises for two sets each for 10 reps, full body. Uh, just, you know, get the body moving and grooving. And well, 35, 36 minutes done in the workout. I uh, found out this camera only records up to 30 minutes, so that's okay. 
Uh, yeah, great workout. Meg left to go to the pool, so I'm gonna go meet her there. She's just finishing up her swim. Then it's time for breakfast. We got a massage at 10, I can't wait for it. I get to actually enjoy it. And then, uh, yeah, it's a little windy outside today, but we're gonna make the best of it. We're gonna find some things to do, go for a lot of swims, snorkeling. See those coral reefs, because there's a beautiful amount of fish that you can see, many different colors. A bunch of Finding Nemo's and Dory's as well. So, see you guys at the next place, bloop! Alrighty, we are done breakfast for now. Good morning. We are done breakfast for now. Uh, the sun is just peeking its head out. It just monsooned really hard for like 10 minutes and with the literally a flick of a switch, the light starts to appear. So that's how fast the weather changes here. Okay, stormy day here, but that's okay. That's okay, it's a stormy day. We are going to the spa again. This time we're doing an hour and a half massage because we love massages, and I am sure all of you viewers agree as well. Yes, it's gonna be a 90 minute massage. Sean is feeling 100% It's like 29 degrees, 29 right now. Uh, we'll go swimming and all that jazz right now. Finding, obviously vlogging is great on an island like this, but it is hard to find a lot of activities to show you viewers. So some of the stuff does tend to repeat itself, but every day is a new day and uh, yeah. Crystal clear blue waters, like always, even on a cloudy day. Nice little view of the island. Okay, so here we are at the massage area. It's just helping out another fellow Maldivian uh, traveler with us. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get this massage over. We're gonna get it not over, we're gonna get it started. So before Megan gets in here, I'm just going to be getting undressed, putting on some beautiful garments, and then enjoying the view while getting a massage. Stormy day, but that doesn't matter because it's beautiful here. Well, an hour and a half later, a couple thunderstorms and a lot of rain, the massage is over. I feel great. I feel woozy. I feel like I need to have a nap, but that's what a massage does to you. The weather outside has not gotten any better. But that's just the chance you take when you come to the middle of the Indian Ocean. So, with the massage being over, there's also little areas around here where you can come get your nails done. You can come get a foot massage. You can come get a haircut. You can get whatever you want to get done at a spa at the end of the day. And like I said, the views out these windows are phenomenal. Except on a rainy day, it's obviously not going to be the best views, but just imagine for a second that the weather is super, super sunny. Just hanging out in the reception area with a nice little ginger lemon zesty tea. It's nice and warm because it is quite the storm out there right now. So we're gonna wait it out until we head back to our villa because we don't wanna get soaked. Well guys, can't really do as much as we wanted to do today only because it's still raining. It's been a full day of rain, but that doesn't mean we're not enjoying ourselves. It's a movie day! We're gonna finish off Jeffrey Dahmer. I'm gonna do some video editing. Can't really do anything with the drone. Can't do anything with you guys as much. So this day might end a little bit sooner than we were expecting, but uh, yeah, we'll update you as, uh, when something big happens, but for now, uh, that's about it. We did see another big, big, big stingrays. Yeah, some big ones, but went for lunch. Forgot to bring the camera, but that's okay. But good. There you go. Final night here in the Maldives. We're going for dinner again. You've seen us go for dinner before, so we're just gonna say that's a wrap. We're gonna watch the rest of the De Jeffrey Dahmer series tonight. Uh, hopefully our next place is Bali, depending on the weather and depending on the planes, but uh, we'll be seeing you in Bali the next time we're on this video here. Uh, we're staying in Bali for a month, so we're gonna stay in Kangu, and then we're going in the south end, then we're going up to the north end, and we're gonna stay in Sarat, uh, two amazing Airbnbs that we're gonna stay in. Can't wait to take you on the venture for a month in Bali.